Well, good morning. This morning, a scripture is found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 7, and it goes like this. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. You know, I read an article, and I just wanted to let you hear it also. It's uh, eye-opening. I was sitting at a sporting event when a lovely Christian lady beside me shouted out, Oh, my God, as her child made a mistake. I just cringed. And then I wondered, does she know? Does she know the Bible tells us not to use God's name in vain? And honestly, this is not unusual. I hear Christians do it all the time. Many are wonderful uh, people who obviously love the Lord. Is it because they just don't hear this call to sin, using the Lord's name in vain? Are we so hardened to use uh, his name due to the company that we keep and the entertainment that we fill our minds with that we just don't notice when we start doing it? You know, that does happen. We're not to use God's name as a curse word. We're not to use his name lightly. If we study who God is, we understand a bit more why this is such a grave sin. God is holy, sovereign, unchangeable, omnipotent, faithful, patient, and merciful. And this is just a short list of the adjectives that we could use to describe my God, the one who made us, uh, you know, out from his image. He is so awesome and so wonderful, and he is, that we can't understand why it's so important for us not to use his name when we're angry or surprised. Now, I'm not saying this to be pointing fingers at anybody, to make anybody feel guilty. Quite honestly, I've personally done it for a long time. That's probably, uh, you know, <laughs> I've said gosh, and that's just a little substitute word. It's, we know what the meaning is, don't we? We sure do. Everyone struggles with it. You'll still hear that come out of my mouth occasionally. And I have to ask for forgiveness right away. Because it, it just, oh, it starts aching when I use the Lord's name in vain. Even saying gosh and oh my God. Yes. Yes, folks, we need to, to watch out. When we grow angry or surprised, we tend to forget our speech. You know, in the heat of the moment, it's my desire today to always to make us think before we uh, use these, his name. Yes, it's holy. We need to think about the words that we use that comes out of our mouth. If we are redeemed, soul saved by grace, then all of life should be lived intentionally to please our Heavenly Father. So I hope that you will recognize when we're excited or when we get mad and upset when somebody says something we don't like and all of this and we start just spitting, spewing words out. 
Ask the Lord to help you. I have to. I have to ask the Lord to help me. Bite my tongue. Don't use or even think of using the Lord's name in vain. Well, I hope this helps someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yep, <laughs> he died on that cross for us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.